I'm gonna be buying my own Keymaster arcade game. I've officially set up this Keymaster. Let's go ahead and take a peek inside. Oh my god. Joy fam. As always, before the video starts, I'm reminding everyone that the iPhone 11 giveaway is currently active. If you guys want the best chance at winning, hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications because all my giveaways are completely random and nobody knows when they will be happening. Good luck to everyone entering and I'll see you in the video. Yo, what is going on, Joy fam? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl boy back at it again. Today, I am filming a super fun video and once I got this machine, I knew I had to film it because of how popular it is on my channel, how popular it is on YouTube in general. Today, I'm gonna to be buying my own Keymaster arcade game. And believe it or not, this is not my first Keymaster I am buying. Uh, this is actually will be my third one. So I'm super excited to get it because they are so popular and everyone loves them. And not only that, but this is probably the cheapest Keymaster I have bought in to date. So I'm gonna share with you guys the details on how I got this, how much it costs, and what it's gonna look like. So the first thing is, I had no idea I was gonna buy this Keymaster until about a week ago. So I saw this Keymaster pop up on eBay for $3,500, $3,500. Yes, that is a lot and that is probably too much for a Keymaster, I would never pay that. And it had a make offer next to it on eBay. So I hit make offer, I submitted $2,500 and it automatically accepted it. Now what was nice about this is that he accidentally put free shipping on this item. So when I bought it, he messaged me and told me that the shipping was gonna be too expensive and he wasn't gonna make any money on this machine so he wasn't gonna sell it to me. So he didn't accept my offer on eBay. So that's when I messaged him what's the lease he would take for the machine with shipping. And he said, well, you know, plus the fees and all of that, I would need at least 3,000. I said, I just, I, to me, that's not worth it because key masters go for around 3,000 and I only buy machines if I can get them discounted or for a good deal. So he said he added up on Craigslist in the eBay and I thought that was interesting. So I looked up on Craigslist in his town uh, if the key master was for sale and sure it was and so I was able to get his phone number and actually text him through my phone I don't think he realized that I was the same person on eBay but I asked him about the machine he said it was fully working I asked if he would take 2000 for it and he said yes so sometimes Craigslist is easier because the sellers like that there's no eBay fees, there's no hassle, there's no shipping, you just come and pick it up. And because he told me that he would take it for two grand, this meant that even if I found someone to ship it for me, I'd still be making uh, much more money and, and saving a lot of money instead of buying it through online and through someone else. So with that information, I knew I had to get a shipper down there to pick up this game as soon as possible because he said he had to, had to have it gone this week or something. So I found a shipper on Uship that was willing to do it for $300. I mean, gas alone is a few hundred dollars. So if I went down there myself, I really wouldn't be saving that much money. Plus I do hate driving for that long of a time. I know it sounds lazy, but like I've driven to California before, I just got back and I did not feel like going on another road trip that I would have to put myself through. So I decided to get someone else to ship it for me. And now today's the day that it will be arriving. He is here at the mall. I'm actually currently stuck in traffic right now. So this is gonna be a long drive. I'm about an hour away from my location. So I'm super excited that I'm getting this Keymaster. I think it's gonna be really cool showing you guys because I don't get Keymasters that often. They're usually so expensive and it's hard to find them on the market undervalued. But this one, I do believe it is. And a lot of Keymasters you see online are the fake uh, China versions where they're built a lot cheaper. Um, they don't play as well and they're they're not as fun and they're not as reliable. Parts are much harder to get. So with that said, I'm gonna drink some of my Red Bull here 
and I'll see you guys at the location. All right, guys, here is the key master. It looks pretty good. It's a little dirty down there. I'm not sure why it's so dirty, but it probably wasn't a garage, so. It is a real key master. It's black too, which I've, I don't think I've ever seen a black key master, but it looks nice. Let's see, open it up. Oh, it's locked. So hopefully the key's in here. like the coin doors in here. Looks like it was drilled out. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. Um, I'm not sure if this was uh, sewn or broken into, but hopefully that's not the case. Even if it is, it doesn't really matter. It is mine now, so we got a working bill acceptor, hopefully. Sweet, it's a little bit dirty. I'm not sure how you get a machine so dirty like this. Leave it outside, we'll do the trick. But it was working. My shipping guy did confirm with me it was working, so I know that it won't break down. I've never seen any coin mechs like this either. Huh. Interesting. Probably will replace these coin mechs. They look a little ratchet. I don't know. This looks uh looks kinda weird. Those metal ones. I got uh I got a coin mech here. But I'll be replacing it with. That should be good. And I'll be replacing this machine. Has not been working for me. And. All right, Joy Fam, I've officially set up this key master. It looks great. I filled it up with prizes completely so that it'll get as much play as possible. I am officially done with it. It is ready to go. It took me a little while because I did have to order some new uh, key holes there i don't know what to call them but they're just parts for key master i did have to get some more because he only had nine in here so i have to order four more however i didn't get two for the top because i'll leave my bigger prizes at the top but it looks really good i'm super happy with what it came out looking like and uh it doesn't have the marquee i don't think i'm gonna get the marquee mainly because it won't fit in my uh, kiosk here but it doesn't really matter. I don't think it'll affect the income of the machine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it sit for about a week, maybe a little longer than a week because I am leaving out for vacation and I'll be back next week. So it'll probably be a week and a half, but I'm gonna see how much money this machine is gonna pull in in this uh, location here in this uh, mall, as you can see. So let's see how much money this machine makes in about a week and a half. All right guys, I am back at my key master. It's been two weeks since I've even looked at what it's made. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. It doesn't look like anything was won, which is surprising. I set the bottom row to pretty easy. I am gonna test it out and make sure it's working. So I'm gonna put a dollar on it. Looks like it's working fine. Let's see if the bottom rolls do. Sometimes it is. Oh, yep. It's definitely due, so I'm not gonna win. I want someone else to win. But it looks like it's working fine. Let's go ahead and open it up. See how well it did this past two weeks. Got two keys here with me. take a peek inside oh my god holy smokes wow that is insane bro look how well this key master did that's so much cash holy smokes okay okay so this is what it did in just about two weeks this is a lot of cash here and doesn't look like any prizes were won so super surprising i set the bottom and middle row pretty pretty easy so i'm surprised no one won any even the top rows payout isn't that much it's probably not 
um, due yet, but the bottom and middle row definitely should be, wow, tons of profits here. I'm gonna go ahead and count this up. Holy crap. See how many quarters there are. Oh, geez, tons of quarters. I don't know, I'm gonna have to empty those out as well. All right, I will get back with you guys once I count up the gross income for this machine.